thing to remember is to take care of your body. So if you feel overheated, lie down on your back. Just lie perfectly still like we're in Shavasana. And then when you feel ready to come back and join us, but avoid child's pose because child's pose will trap the heat as you can feel hotter. So uh, just keep that in mind. Stay in the room. It's the safest place to be. And uh, there. <laughs> Thank you. 
your eyes open, always aware as you look in the front mirror. Watch the shape of your body come into that half moon shape and lift your chin to open your throat to the front mirror. So all you'll do is lift your chins up, look straight ahead. So eyes are straight ahead, nose straight ahead, and chin and lift. Good. Now we got it. We got it. Really strong in your legs. Squeeze your glutes. Let your right hand pull your left hand over and try to touch that side wall. For three, even more two. On one change. Inhale, back to center. On your exhale, realign your grip. Realign your 
Start with 
remember, don't turn it back. Kick your left foot back, right close to your ankle because eventually, full expression, you're going to be grabbing your calf, right? You know that. So pull your knees together, press it to your right toes. Inhale, reach up, lengthen as you reach, exhale, kick. Kick, kick, kick till you have no choice but to reach forward. Keep your chest lifted. It's different from dancer's pose, but at the same time, you're not fully parallel to the floor with your torso. There's a slight lift in your chest. If you fall out, that's good. It means you found your edge. Keep breathing deep. Get right back in. Pull your left knee to the center line of your body. A little bit harder. Bring your right hand to center. Good job, everybody. Keep your eyes forward where your eyes go, your energy follows. Give it all you got for three. Even more now. Two. And one. Change. Come up. Exhale it again. Bring your hands to heart center. We'll pause for a moment before our second set. This is your chance to observe what's going on in your body. Inhale. And exhale. One of the things you may notice your heart is beating.
left side mirror. Moving on to our triangle series. Okay, we're gonna flow some of these postures together a little bit. There's no flow technically, but keep your ears open just so we can make magic happen. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, step your feet apart. Four feet minimum, bring your arms parallel to the floor. Kick your heels up to their parallel. Heels out, toes in. Both ten, all ten toes toward the front mirror, the side mirror. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, swan dive down. Standing separate leg stretching pose. Grab your feet with both hands and all five fingers on each hand. So, right hand raise, right foot, left hand raise, left foot. Even you to bend your knees a little bit to get the grip. Once you have the grip, then go back to straight legs. Push your tailbone up and pull the crown of your head toward the floor. Yes, beautiful flat spine, everybody. You're looking great. Keep your belly in that flat spine and shift the weight into Oh, that's very important. I can swipe a gift card under your heels right now. Try to push your thighs toward the sidewall and try to pull your chest toward the space between your feet. Allow your elbows to bend. Breathe for three, two, one, and change. Release your feet, arms to a T. Inhale, rise up to stand and freeze right here. So it's where we freeze. Exhale, turn your right toes straight ahead to the front mirror. Bend your right knee to a 90 degree angle. Pull your right knee over your pinky toe. Now listen here. Inhale, little shift forward. Exhale, 12 and six for trikonasana pose. So you might not feel like you're really in the posture, so you're gonna bend your knee even deeper. Deepen the bend in your knee. Rather than trying to touch the floor, I want you to try to work, try to touch the ceiling. Keep your arms in a straight line. You're stopping a piece of drywall Breathe for two, one, change. Inhale, come up. Now pivot your feet. Exhale, 10 toes toward the side mirror again. Inhale, lift your chest. We're not gonna do the other side. We're gonna do our second set of standing separate leg stretch. Ears open, inhale, lift. Exhale, swan dive down. It's master posture, we do two sets. Maybe this side, go a little deeper. Who knows? Give it a shot. Waves in your toes. Almost gonna feel a little bit like you're gonna fall on your head, but you won't. Keep your core strong and push your tailbone to the ceiling. You should be okay. Haven't seen it happen yet. <laughs> All right, so keep nice and strong in your quads and your thighs and your uh, hamstrings. And then as you grab your feet, bend your elbows. One day you'll get your forearms against your calves or behind your shins. Nice. Belly in, inhale. A little more traction on the exhale. This is easy for you. You can shorten the space between your feet. Now we're getting ready to change. all the way up. Now, right here is where we exhale, turn your left toes. It's coming. There you go. Bend your left knee. Left knee over your pinky toe. When you look down at your feet, straight line from your heel to your arch. Inhale, little shift to the back. Exhale, 12 and 6 for trikonasana pose. Triangle pose. A little bit different. You want to look for the triangle. Trikonasana literally translates to three angle pose. So you look with three triangles in your body. There's one from your fingertip to your heel. There's one from your ear to your heel. And there's one under your arm. So lift your torso off your thigh and see that triangle under your left arm, and then you get a little twist when you look up at your thumb. So spin your ribs up just like the cement mixer. Stay the inhale. Press into your right pinky toe. Exhale here. And change. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands overhead. Step your feet back together and arms at your sides. So take a moment here. Just breathe. Inhale. And exhale. All right, last one on this side. Inhale, arms overhead. Hands come to prayer this time. Only cross your thumbs. Step your feet apart three feet. So it's a much shorter stance. Pivot on both heels to the front mirror so right toes are straight ahead. And then push your left hip in line with your right. Maybe even do a little, a little cha-cha bumps with your hip. Biceps to ears. Inhale, lift your chest. Tuck your chin. Look at your belly. Exhale, roll up standing. Separate leg stretching forehead to knee in three-way compression. So as you come down into this posture, the goal is to get your forehead to your knee. Struggle with that. Just bend your knee. Nothing wrong with bending your knee. That helps you get your forehead to your knee because that's where the benefits are. At least keep your eyes open. If you can, keep your hands in prayer. Do so. If you need to separate them, that's fine. Keep your left heel flat going in if necessary. If you feel like you're joking, you're doing it right. Equal effort in both legs. Hands come back to prayer. Inhale, change. Unroll up so slowly that your head is looking. 
if you struggle with being able to breathe. If you notice your hips are out of alignment, equal effort in both legs will help with that to press into your back heel as well as your left toes. That's it. What's the other thing? That belly compression is good for your internal organs, so pull your tummy in. Hands come back to prayer. Inhale, change. Now roll up one, three breath at a time. Exhale, turn to the front. And arms to your sides. Feet step together. Beautiful job, yogis. We have one or two more, sorry, two more standing postures. One if you only choose the first one. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do tree into toe stand. You may stay in tree. You want to do toe stand, I'll cue it. It's always fun to try it out. So arms to your sides. Hot yoga tree is like this. Inhale, you're running me up. Bring your right heel all the way to your hip crease. There's no power version here. This is to prepare you for fixed firm pose. So use both hands if you need to. Then pull your knee toward the back wall of the Scoop your tailbone under. Bring your right hand to heart center. If you need to hold your foot in place, use your left hand palm up. If you can get both hands to heart center, try toe stand. How? Reach forward in your waist. Look past the edge of your mat. Fix your eyes on one spot on the floor and release your hands if you're going to break your fall. Bend your standing leg and sit on your left heel. There you go. And then once you get into position, walk your fingers around the back of your mat. Get your bearings, then bring one hand to heart center. If you can get both hands to heart center, lift your hips off your heel one inch. Good job, you guys. Walk your fingers forward again. Come out of it the way you came in in reverse. Trees, you can stay right where you are. And then everybody come all the way up to the top. And exhale, release, let it go. If you fall out of toe stand, it's no big deal. We all do. Other side, press into your right foot. Inhale your left knee. Your heel into your hip crease. Use both hands, get it in place, right in the bikini line. Press your thigh against your foot and pull your knee toward the back wall. One day your knees will be on the same horizontal line. Now, rather than stick your tailbone out, you want to scoop it under. Belly in, long, tall spine. Left hand to heart center. Right hand to heart center, start your toe stand. Or stay here. Make sure your shoulders are even. Inhale, hinge forward for Padmasana. Keep your chin lifted, release your hands. Come onto your mat. Around your body toward the back of your mat and sit tall. If someone's pulling you by the hair, if you're able to bring both hands to heart center, levitate your hips off your heel. If not, you stay where you are. Good job, yogis. Are we coming, trees? Inhale, walk your fingers forward. Use your core to lift you up. Hands to heart center. And exhale, release your foot. Everyone keep your hands in heart center. So we can say namaste to our standing seat. All right, everyone, turn around, face the back, and lie on your mat for a Shavasana. This Shavasana is a little different from the Shavasana that we do at the end of class. This one is sort of a, an awake Shavasana. It's not a nap. It's um, narrow, legs are together. So zip up your legs, just let your toes open to the corners of the to release your most line. Keep your arms close to your body. Why do you want to keep the heat in? Not let it go. We need it for a few. Keep your eyes open. And soft gaze, relax, breathe in and out through your nose. Allow your blood flow to redistribute. And realign yourself. Thank you. 
Heels release. 
again. Another little mini Shavasana. Since we just worked our spines pretty well, we're going to need a little bit of a, a realignment. Tuck your chin slightly, draw your tailbone to the bottom edge of your neck. You'll see that it's toes open. Get hang out to the little bit of Breathe in and out through your nose. So 
yourself to reset. <coughs> it takes a lot out of you. It's like shaking up a snow globe. <coughs> we'll wake your eyes up. Counter posture is my pose. Sounds like last time. Joe puts up the back line of your body. So if you start, first wrap a towel over your heels for safety and grab your heels with your thumbs on the outside. If you struggle with this grip, slide your hands down your low spine all the way till your thumbs reach. Make that grip nice and tight, weight in your legs. Tuck your chin, look at your belly, exhale, roll up super tight. Bring the crown of your head to the mat. The crown of your head is the top button of a baseball cap, not your forehead or hairline or anything in between. Once your head is on the mat, without putting weight in your head, walk your knees to your forehead, forehead to your knees, that's it. Your tailbone up, this posture opens up not only the back line of your body in terms of the meridians, but it also opens up the back of your lungs, your kidneys, your heart, your throat, your thyroid. That tight grip still in place, inhale, chain, unroll up, keep grip on your heels, you see yourself. Exhale, uncover your heels, and then turn around, come into Shavasana. Stay focused, stay in your breath. We do this a lot with the Shavasana. There's a reason for it. It's because we're still, it does not mean that nothing. Do that if you need to. 
Take up as much space as you wish. Slide your feet as wide as your mat. Take up lots of space with your arms. Close your eyes. And dim the lights. Don't get scared. Allow your low spine to melt into the mat. Relax your jaw. Always inhale through your nose. And now you can exhale through your mouth to let go of some of that heat. You don't need it anymore. Kriya Shavasana is the hardest posture. Sometimes because we feel like we're not doing anything, so why say? That's not true. Because we're doing a lot of things. Some people have trouble staying in it because it's hard to say so. Again, your heart's still beating and you're still breathing. You're feeling sensations in your body. But I challenge you to stay for at least three to five full cycles of breath. When you are ready to leave, please leave quietly so as not to disturb your fellow yogis who are welcome to stay for longer. I will see you on the way out. We still have a couple of minutes before the hour ends, so if 